so great. Yeah, yeah. We've got a good, 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 good thing going on. I had got a brochure from Habitat, and they sent someone out to uh, do a home inspection and to see if my house met the critical need. Well, when I told them about the heat and the water and the electrical, they was looking at the, uh, I guess, the outside and looking at all the stuff in here. And they was like, you don't have those kind of problems. But uh, I did. I did. It was like a, a sore covered up by a Band-Aid. But when you pull the uh, bandage off, you see the condition of the sore. Well, I had some problems, number one, with my heating. I used a portable heater in my bedroom and the oven in the kitchen to kind of uh, heat the kitchen and the den area. I had a roofing problem, then the electrical and the water uh, with illness and, and things going on with me, I, I couldn't do anything about it. But Habitat really changed my life. They give you hope. They, they give you they give you a lot of hope. We say that everyone should have a decent place to live. And so many of our community don't have that. They nowhere near that. Most of the people that we serve, they've worked in a lot of the low income paying jobs as a family, they they were able to sustain the house. It seems like they were so active in our community, so active in their churches, and contributed incredibly to our well-being and the well-being of our community. And now, now they're retired, and now they're sick, and their their homes are in the same shape as they are. You know, the hope of Habitat is not only in building new, but also in preserving old. To know that you can bring that house back to being a place of refuge. Uh, it's, it's, it, it gives you a lot of, uh, makes you feel good. Okay, this was a draft because I was gonna send it to the office. So I'm gonna go ahead and read it to you all. Okay. First and foremost, I give thanks to God for who I believe make all things possible in my life, for my well-being and letting me be a breast cancer survivor. I thank Habitat for making it possible for the repairs on my house that I could not afford to have done on my own. And these but not last but not least, the team players that work on my house. I truly believe that they enjoy what they do. And I also enjoy talking about movies with <laughs> with them. I could go on and on, but I better stop here before I write a book. <laughs> Thank you all from my whole heart, Linda Towns. Thank you. Well, I love to work with you as well. I'm gonna be sad to, to leave. I'm gonna have to come back. Can I can I say something? Until these repairs was done in my house, I was living in a H O U S E. Because of Habitat, I can now say I can have friends, family over, entertain. I now live in a H-O-M-E. There is a difference, and Habitat made that difference. Born and raised in a project, we didn't have a whole lot, but we were clean, and my grandmother, she always had a flower bed right in front of our little project window. So I kind of got a lot of the uh, green thumb from my grandmother. And then when you look around and see other people didn't care about where they were living, I wanted to, to, to take pride in where, because it's, it's where I live. And I was praising God even before the repairs was done but now to walk through here with heat evenly through your house, running water, electrical, 
got one of the nicest roofs on my house that a young man my age could have sitting right here on the corner of Fordham and West Boulevard. And I mean, I stick my chest out it till I just bust out of my t-shirt like Superman. I mean, it, it, it gives you joy. It gives you joy. They made my house a home with these repairs that they did for me. And I thank God every day for Habitat.